difference. And if we can just show it one more time, Dusty, if we may, the full rendition of the mountain. Oh. That is for week one of 2024. The wow. only quarterback ranking system that matters. Rough start. Mahomes Mount. Rough start. Pardon? Rough. I really Wait your turn. I really Wait your turn, sir. I'm sorry that Drake May couldn't be on there because the team thought he's, it's, you know, he's a workman's comp risk if they let him play. <laughs> and so you're a little bitter about it. But let Coach go for the mountain. I really thought that this was going to be better than it was. <laughs> and and I, I thought that with a whole offseason yeah. and time to reflect that, that it wasn't going to be just it's take insane. justification, what which is What's the right, what right. it feels like. That's a great I, and, and and the the idea that just you have the top. prince where he is, and I know you you've been in love with him since he came out, and you you created his nickname and all those things. But last season he lost five out of his last six games. Yeah. He was a turnover machine, mm -hmm. and then you love him as much as you hate Brock Purdy. I don't hate. And, and I've been slow. Except for okay, maybe as, you as much as you put <laughs> Brock Purdy down. But just put the, you've got them two two tiers below where the prince is. Put put up their combined set or their their head to head statistics, oh, and you know that that I am sl I slow to adapt to Brock Purdy. But he showed so much last season wow. in terms of his ability to to come back and play in difficult difficult situations, which we hadn't seen. But look at how staggering the difference is in numbers. And the fact that that the Prince folded late in the season last year, and as much as you want to propel him up the mountain, at some point he's got to actually propel himself up the mountain with the way that he plays. And you got to stop right. putting like you, you create avalanches on Brock Purdy and don't let him climb. All right. So listen, I, I mean there was a nice little turn of phrase there. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I fear you know that this is just going to be a. The Prince, you know, trash session because of I don't know what, what? Brew has planned. <laughs> I, uh, the, the, but if I if I may about Brock Purdy for a moment, the numbers are outstanding. But much like when we do the tiers tomorrow, if you want the standings, where do you go, Wilds? Yeah, you you got to find a USA Today. Yeah. Go to like the Rats. Wait, they all, they all, well, allow me to I finish. No, 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 I let you go on and on. You allow me to finish, One sir. guy's in the Super if Bowl, you would like, one guy's at home. If you would, yeah, and the last guy to be in the Super Bowl for the Niners, Jimmy Garoppolo. Where is he on the mountain? No, oh, wait, he's a Jimmy Sherpa G. for somebody because he can't he get a job anymore. Well, we know who's but if not you, been Just the like Bowl. I was saying, if you want the Sands, you go to USA Today. If you want rankings by quarter, Quarterback rating. Football Reference is a great free for anyone website. You click it, it. 2023 leaders, yeah. sort by, and you've got it. This is a rich tapestry of many factors. And the. Well, then, if it's always a rich tapestry of many factors, why does he always just use these basic stats anytime he wants to say that Mahomes is better than Allen or that Stafford is better than. Um, Goff, or you know, whatever it may be, like right, like those weren't the best examples. But he always does that. Like again, you can't pick and choose when you want those stats to matter versus when it's a rich tapestry of stuff. Now I'm on the fence of how I'm going to move forward doing the Mahomes Mountain and the rankings. Um, because I did them last season and I found it was kind of trouble. Last time, you know, the way how I did it before is I'd start from the beginning. I'd let him go through each tier. I'd pause in the middle of it and talk through it. Um, if you want me to do it that way, please definitely let me know uh, in the comments. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, I figured maybe I'd try it this way to have the whole mountain there, have some of the, the comebacks with Mangini and stuff like that, then try to have a discussion about it rather than just take all that time to go through each level. But I, I really don't know. I'm also contemplating doing a different way where I'll make like a few videos on the same mountain and just focus on the one tier and just be like, oh my God, you know, let's talk about how purdy is on the same level as baker mayfield and then make a whole video specifically about that rather than it all as a whole because that's the problem that i face when we're talking about all these quarterbacks in one video i can end up making like a 30 minute video and if you guys want that then again please let me know like what do you how do you guys want to consume this segment because i'm 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 just on the fence uh, i'm just not entirely sure how best to do it i'll probably try it a few different ways and i figured this way i'll try it this way because it's like i can make a whole video just about how is caleb williams um on the third tier right now right like how is he just below allen and burrow above lamar jackson right like uh, how, how is that possible how is dak on the same level as Lamar Jackson. That's insane to me. To imagine that Lamar Jackson is on the level as Dak Prescott. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. 
okay? That makes zero sense. Let me say it one more time. It makes zero sense. Lamar Jackson is a bona fide top quarterback in the NFL, two-time MVP, and has done it with much less than Dak Prescott. So get out of here with that nonsense. That's insanity. And then you want to put, you know, Jordan Love as low as he is there? Like, what? Jordan Love's now equivalent to Cousins? And I think Cousins is a really good quarterback, so that's not even any disrespect to Cousins. But that's insane to me. And then you're going to put Purdy? You're going to put Purdy below Cousins? Below Goff? Like, I'm not so sure about that. If anything, you could say that Purdy and Goff are very similar type level quarterbacks. If you don't want to say that Purdy is a top quarterback, that's fine. But you could probably still put it within in the same range of, say, a Goff or a Cousins at the least. Like, what are, what are we talking about? In no world is Brock Purdy on the same level as Geno Smith or Baker Mayfield. Like, no, 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 no. That's, in, that's just wild to me. And I love how Caleb Williams gets this celebrity treatment of skyrocketing him to the top of the mountain, but then Jaden is at the bottom. Why are you so willing to say Caleb is, is already there, but Jaden is not, right? And the fact that Nix is there, that's interesting. Denver Broncos fans, he's getting a little scared about Bo Nix because normally he would have him like off the mountain right? Like he would have him legitimately like not even on the mountain and say like they're at base camp or whatever the heck he does. So the fact that he's actually on the mountain, that's saying something, right? Because like Justin Fields isn't there. I don't know if it's only if, it, if it's only starters or, or how that works. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, I just, I find these lists so troublesome, quite frankly. And I'm, I'm just, again, I'm not sure because then I know they're doing the tiers um, as well. And it's like, ah, I just feel like I could just make the same video again and again, right? I mean, like maybe the rankings change a little bit rather than the quarterback ratings, um, the mountains, because that's going to be week to week more and, and who is shaping up, right? Like if you think that the Lions are going to be a really good team and then they end up, you know, not playing very well and dropping three games in a row, it's like, okay, you know, you can bring them down. I can see that. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence because I'm going to be doing this video and the rankings and I'm going to ask you guys the same questions like, how do you want to like consume these videos? Like, how do you want to go about doing it? Would, you, would it be better just to watch the whole mountain reveal and then just stop it at the end and then talk about it from that point forward and not listen to some of the back and forth? Like, I, I, um, I, I'm really definitely open to suggestions. Should I just skip it all together? Should I just focus on one or two points? Like I said, make a video specifically about Caleb or CJ Stroud or Jared Goff or, you know, whoever the quarterback of the day is to me. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's why I'm, I'm asking you all, let me please, please let me know. Um, but yeah, those are just my brief thoughts, I suppose, on the quarterback mountain as of now. Um, let me know what your thoughts all are on not only how I should do it, but then also where you, what do you think about these rankings? Um, I think they're, pretty crazy pretty crazy but we'll just run with it for week one but yeah let me know in the comments below i read every single comment so whether you agree with me or disagree with me either way let's get in some discussions let's get in some fights but ultimately let's just have some fun and please do consider subscribing we are building an amazing community here i'd absolutely love to see you part of it i want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to something that we're really excited to be part of i think we're well on our way to doing it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm thank you so much and see you next time